Crossplay, a pretty big subject that everyone wants to talk about and that everyone is so excited for. But when is it coming out for Apex Legends? Well, let's start talking about it in about five seconds. So ever since the EA Play event was released, we were all so excited to know that we would be getting the crossplay feature for Xbox, PlayStation, PC, Nintendo Switch, and on PC, we would be getting it on Steam as well as Origin. So since we were so excited to know this information, everyone has been dying to know a specific release date, but all they left us hanging with is that we would be getting it in the fall. Now the fall actually starts, I believe, September 22nd or 23rd. I'm not so sure on that, but I know that it is just around the corner. So technically speaking, we could be getting it in season six, but everyone in anticipates it for season seven because obviously that's a big launch date that's a big release date and that's when a lot of big features will come for apex legends but i want to do my best to narrow the release gate date and kind of give you guys a more accurate idea as to when we will be getting crossplay and why i believe actually it won't be in season seven but rather it will be in season six but before we get into it make sure you guys click the subscribe button if you do want crossplay early not that you'll get it but if you do want it early just let me know by subscribing yeah that'd be cool so generally speaking speaking with season launches most of the time they really try to keep it just with the season gameplay itself and try to keep the update based on buffs nerfs patches and bug fixes and things like that and then obviously adding the new map changes or the new map itself new guns new weapon balances and things of that nature they generally try to keep the season updates based around that idea and they usually bring their quality of life feature updates in different patches things like uh, town takeovers things like uh, collection events they usually kind of bring those updates to towards more event related patches rather than the season releases. Now Respawn has always done that typically because of the fact that when you release a new gameplay patch like that, like a new season, you're going to have a lot of bugs with the map, you're going to have a lot of bugs with the new weapon, the new weapon balances, the changes, the buffs, the nerfs, the new features that they've added on the different legends. They're going to have a lot of bugs to fix as soon as the season 7 release date is here and they're going to be mainly fixing the features that come on season 7 and the new features that they've added. Now I can't remember specifically which season this was but there was actually a season that we had comment down below if you can think of it there was a season that we had where literally the season was like unplay the game was like unplayable for like two days until they fixed a really really bad bug i think the audio was absolutely terrible at the time and there was a really bad bug with the audio i want to say there was even a bad bug with the gameplay itself and then also i think the cheaters were at like an all-time high it was just an absolute terrible update the update itself was really nice but just the fact that like there were so many bugs that they could not fix immediately made the game so unplayable and everyone was like just tearing down apex i'm gonna quit i'm gonna leave i'm never gonna play this game sucks and that puts a lot of pressure on respawn to make sure that that bug is fixed immediately and that's just the gameplay patches so i know that respawn in their bright minds being a triple a production studio for video games you know that they're going to play this smart and try to limit the amount of bugs they have at once and not bring a bunch of bugs all together at the same time that's why i believe that actually the season seven release release date will be different from the crossplay release date and they're actually going to release crossplay first try to fix all the crossplay bugs that you have and then release the season seven and try to fix all the bugs you have with season seven the amount of bugs that they will have if they release them all together at the same time is going to be massive and i think you could really see a lot of downtime for apex as soon as season seven releases and the last thing that respawn needs is a new season seven release and then have like three or four straight days where it's unplayable it's so annoying to play the bugs are just absolutely insane so you you know they're going to try to space it out try to get the big task out of the way before they really tackle season seven that's why i believe that crossplay will actually be released in season six now that i've told you it's in season six most likely let's talk about more specific dates that it will come out on season six so a data miner that is very reliable a very reliable source named shrug tall actually gave his two cents an opinion and said that he also thinks it will come in season six and come prior to season seven and he said he believes it will come right around the aftermarket event so the aftermarket event is actually event that's coming up very very soon it's not like a real big event all it is is just a basic like store sale event and so you're going to have like some new recolors you're going to have some new skins coming out so it's not going to be an actual end game event just a like store based event and whenever they come out with that that's a good time to release a big patch like crossplay because that's really going to take the pressure down for season seven maybe even a collection event in season six you don't want to release too much at once because you're going to have way too many bugs and if you have a really bad update a really bad patch with a lot of bugs 
then you're going to have a really bad experience with a bunch of casual and pro players outraging on Twitter, outraging on YouTube, and really bringing Apex Legends down again like they did at the beginning of Season 6. So the timeline dates that he gave for the aftermarket event is September 12th through October the 4th. So this is probably the more accurate time gate that you're going to have for the crossplay release date is September 12th through October the 4th, as this is when you will be getting the aftermarket event for the store, and then that's probably a good time to release a big patch like crossplay because it you don't really have a lot of bugs that's going to come with the aftermarket event because it's just a store event and since you're not going to have a lot of bugs with that that makes it a good time to release crossplay so you can kind of go ahead and limit the bugs you have on that that way when you release season seven you're not going to have a bunch of bugs all at once so for those of you that have stayed all the way to the end of this video thank you guys so much and for that i want to give you guys a little bit more news about crossplay and kind of give you guys a little bit of an idea of how it works so the feature of crossplay that they're using is not any kind of foreign technology and obviously it's not anything to do outside of the boundaries within other games this is actually a crossplay feature that is used within all the other ea games so because it's ea based you know this is going to have a lot of bugs when it releases and also i have some images from shrug tall that are in the game files kind of showing a little bit more about crossplay so you will actually be able to add crossplay friends so it's not just going to be origin friends playstation friends that you'll be able to invite you'll actually have to create like an ea id basically and then actually friend people on the ea id and so you can actually friend people on playstation if you're on pc friend people on xbox if you're on playstation and vice versa so it goes all the way around so you will be able to invite people on other platforms it also says there will be some kind of messaging system where you can actually talk and interact with those people as well and then also you're going to be getting like an in-game tab so i'm assuming you probably will get some sort of user interface change with this next update to show you your ea friends and to help you kind of go through all of this cross-platform details and make those connections with your friends on other platforms and i believe i heard shrug tall say this correctly but basically if i'm not mistaken since the season six update there was actually a lot more code referring to crossplay that was put in to the game files and the way it looks it really looks like a lot of crossplay features are like already in the game files and there's a code that's in there right now that basically tells crossplay to enable or tells crossplay to work and it's just deactivated right now so that's a lot of good news and then also before i let you guys go a lot of people even respawn themselves said at the beginning of apex legends that cross progression will never exist it's just impossible and it looks like i'm not 100 sure but the way shrug tall was talking in his video it also looked like cross progression could possibly come with cross play I'm not entirely sure if that's 100% accurate but the way it sounded is like that you would upload all your stuff onto the cloud onto like an EA ID cloud and then you would like sync that from that cloud server down onto your new EA ID account if that is the case that will be a massive win for Apex Legends and be a huge achievement that they've achieved because this is something we've all been waiting for it's something they said could not be done and then now it could be done so that's going to be really really big if they can make that happen I know if I play on my switch I definitely would like to be able to use my other skins my other loadouts and so i really really hope they can make this happen if they do that's like i said that's going to be a massive massive win and be a really big deal for apex legends and the future of it but that's going to be it for today's video if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any more apex legends related news content and videos and i will see you all in the next one it's vibe or die only positivity in this place so in the comments be nice be positive and brighten someone's day i'll see you all in the next one have a great rest of your day and I'm out. Peace.